Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and in this video, I want to show you how to use TriWit resources in Java. So if you're, if you're reading from a resource or writing to a resource like a file or the console window or a connection with a database, you have to open that resource and you have to remember to close it. If not, you leave resources open and it might have an impact on memory. So if it's something that you forget to do, there is a statement that will automatically close that resource for you. And the code for that is try and a set of round brackets and then a set of curly brackets. And inside the round brackets is where you declare your resource that you're going to use. So a connection to the console, a connection to the database or a connection to a file. So in this example, it's going to be a connection to the, the console window where you get your, your printouts. So for that, it's the scanner class that I'm going to be using. So if the class you're going to be using for your connection um, implements an interface called closable, and I'll show you how you know that, then you can declare that resource inside this try statement. So to do that, I'm going to use the scanner class. So it's scanner. I'm going to use control space here because the scanner class is in the util package, which isn't in the lang package, and I need an import for it. So if I double click on that, I get my import. So scanner, I'm instantiating this class. It's the name of the class the name of the instance that I want to, to call it, to scanner, equals new, again, scanner, and I'm reading from, so not a string, not a file, but the console, which is system.in, and now that will open up the resource. I don't need to write code to say scanner.close. At the end of the curly brackets of this try block, that scanner object will automatically be closed for me. Now I'm going to open up the API. This is the Java API. On the top left hand corner are all the packages. I scroll down and I clicked on java.util. That will give me a list of interfaces and classes in that package. And I've located the scanner class, clicked on it, and now we can see a description of it here. If you have a class that implements closable, now you know that you can use that try with resources statement that will automatically close the resource when you finish with it. So that is try, instantiate the object inside the round brackets, and now at the end of the block it'll automatically be closed. So now to use that scanner class, so print out, I might this time might be uh, enter a double for instance, and I'll just make this look a little bit pretty. I'm going to take out the print ln, so it's just print, so I'll get my prompt on the same line there. Um, that's my prompt to print out to the user to actually read in a value. I'm going to store it in double number equals using the scanner class, scanner dot next double. And now just to see that that worked, print out you entered. Uh, you entered, just you entered and concatenate onto that the value from the variable on the previous line, number. Now, yeah, just close that there for a second. Uh, save and run. Now, this is up here, enter a double. So if I put in 56.2, for instance, and hit return, it will be printed out again. But the whole purpose of this example here is if you're using resource that implements the closable interface, which you can see in the API, sorry, I'm actually clicking on that. You can see in the API implements an interface called closable. You can use this try with resources. And when it hits the end of the block, it knows that you're finished with the scanner object and it will automatically be closed for you. So that is a try with resources statement. It can be used on connection to the databases and connecting to files as well, which you will see in my later videos.